They want to see me do my dance. Be the honest. Mm -mm -mm. Don't respect me. Have my man. Bang. Whole lot chopper. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Tamaya Chanel. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tamaya Chanel. Back at it again with another video. And today... Today, how did we? Hold on, wait. Okay, let me stop. I wasted enough of your time. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk about being different. You know, like being your unique, true self, being authentic. Like, we don't have enough people doing that. And if we do, they are hiding behind closed doors. They need to just step out and let their light shine. Because I'm not seeing enough energy being revealed. Coming into the realization of who I was, I spent my whole entire life being myself, but not realizing who I really was. Like, you get it? Like, I was being myself for other people. Like, I was trying to make people happy. I was trying to appreciate them. I was just trying to, you know, cheer them up. I realized that I do that a lot. I don't like, you know, seeing people sad. I don't like seeing people down. I like them like this. Like, I have this thing where I can look so sad, but look just like this. I can be so depressed, but look just like this. Like, you get it? And y'all, let me put y'all on game. For those who don't really like or believe in God because I am a true believer I believe in God I believe in the most high I believe in the Bible the Bible be spitting facts and y'all be sleeping on the Bible for those of you who happen to come across this video and don't really you know believe in God or or you do believe in God you just don't believe in his word let me put y'all on game so I was reading Proverbs right and Proverbs is the best chapter to start on. When you are reading the Bible, start with Proverbs. This, that is the book of, you know, wisdom and knowledge and understanding. But y'all, I was reading it, and it just helped me understand that even the Bible know what we go through in our, in our lives, in our daily lives. Where is Proverbs? Where is Proverbs? But y'all, I just read this and it blew my mind. But it did not blow my mind because, you know, God is all-knowing. He knows everything. And what is written in here is the way, the truth, and the life, of course. Your word is what you use to renew your mind. You know, who you was yesterday, you are not today. And you use that by reading this or praying and meditating. I just read this and it just, it stood out to me. This is Proverbs chapter 14, verses 13. So it says, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. In the end of that, mirth is heaviness. Do y'all know what that mean? Do y'all know what that mean? At first I didn't know what it mean. I had to uh, type in the definitions of the word, but do y'all know what that mean? <laughs> It means that even through your laughter, you know, you are sad, you are depressed, you are grieved. Like, God even knows that when you laugh, it is not real. Like, I'm trying to tell you, the book of Proverbs helps you relate to life so much. It is your way through life. It's not going to tell you exactly what you need to do, but it gives you knowledge and understanding of how to look out for things or how to, you know, respond to certain situations. And it was just saying, like, how even when you laugh, I can tell that it's not, you know, real. That you going through something, that you grieving, that, you know, your laugh is, through your amusement, is heaviness. Like, I can feel that upon you. And most people, they don't see that. They don't recognize that through your laugh, you are depressed. You know, you're sad, you're grieving about someone or something. Like, they just see you as some big, goofy, retarded person who does nothing but, you know, take, st take stuff as a joke when in reality, you really crying out for help. Like, I would always use my, um, you know, my goofiness and my laughter as a 
you know, a way to cope with life, I guess. Like, you know the saying, laugh to keep from crying? That's basically what I would do always. And no one ever really noticed until I sat down and had to explain myself. Because even parent, your parents don't understand. They always hit you with that, you not depressed. Go wash them, go depress them dishes. <laughs> Like, you be trying to explain to them the stuff that you deal with outside of that household. And it just sucks when they put you, when you have to deal with it in your household. So not only are you balancing it out in your household, but you're also balancing it out in, at school or at your job. Everywhere. You're just dealing with it everywhere. And it's hard because you don't have nobody else to run to. And my way of coping with it was social media. And at the time, I wasn't even allowed to have Facebook, even though I was literally like 17, 18. I was really, the, like, bruh, I was old enough to have the social media. But my parents were, were my parent. At the time, I was living with one parent. And so, they were strict on me. But I still, you know, decided to make a page anyways and do what I wanted to do. And I'm glad I did because it helped me um, just release some of my stuff, I guess. Like, I didn't care who made fun of me. At the time, I did have low um, self-esteem. And now that I realize it, even though I may have had low self-esteem, people who I was, you know, or the platform that I was posting on, they didn't see it that way. They just saw me as someone who was confident. They saw me as someone whose light was always shining, who was funny, who was creative, who was weird, who was awkward, who was all these things. And so they would look at me and put me in the category as if she thinks she's all that and a piece of cake. And I didn't think of it that way because while I was, they was over here looking at me like that, I was here like this maybe crying or maybe talking to myself or beating myself up for not being like other human beings that goes to show that even though you see people on social media being their best best selves don't mean that they are their best selves okay but <laughs> uh, she interrupted me just to clean the tub that she just got out of she don't get her butt down there and scrub a dub dub that tub anyways but yeah like even when you see somebody as their best selves don't even mean that they are their best selves they could be at their worst but their way of coping their way of you know showing who they are is to post on social media or somewhere or go somewhere and beat them like Themselves. They being free. They enjoying life even though it's behind closed doors. They wishing that they were never here on this earth. And But you always have, you know, that group of people that targets them in a very hateful manner. Like they send them wishing they could do the things that that person is doing. And they see that that person does not have that much confidence. For real, for real. They see right through them. It's like they see the light shine, but they see that they don't believe in themselves. They see that they don't, they have not reached their full potential. So to prevent that for, that person from reaching their full potential, they throw shots at them. They just keep throwing shots, throwing shots. And you know, as the person you are, you are not someone who likes to hurt people's feelings. You don't really have the right words to just come out and talk about anybody or, you know, because you're not that person, you, you make shots, you don't throw them. Mm, wait a minute. Let me write that down. You make shots. You don't throw them. You don't throw. You make shots. You know what I'm saying? And so, <laughs> you're not the type of person to come for somebody. You like to stand in your shell. You like being quiet. You don't like speaking unless you've spoken to. And when it comes to, you know, that, it's like nowadays, now that you're getting older, or maybe you still young, it is time for you to start walking in your full potential. It is time for you to be your true self, you know, accept yourself. Whatever you thinking of that you wanna do, if you are someone who wants to paint or draw and don't know how to draw, if you don't 
don't get that pencil or pen and color pencil and get to just doodling it. Man, look, let me tell you. Because it don't matter how the outcome looks. All that matters is that you try. And the more and more you try, the more and more you will get better. Now, let me show y'all what I did. And y'all, I don't know who I drew, why I drew it. Look, I just got the canvas. Like, I just wanted to paint, right? Got the canvas. And I just, I was, look, this all I did was just dab my paintbrush and some paint. And I was just like, like this. I ain't sketch out who I want to draw or what I want to draw. I just got the paintbrush and started. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And next thing you knew, this is how it turned out. It don't look like Leonardo DiCaprio did it, but it's something. It's something. Like, y'all see that? That's how it turned out. Just, just wait. Probably like a year from now. I might be uh, Michelangelo or something. You feel me? Like, I might be the next thing popping. But I literally just took the paintbrush and I just ain't think about what I was doing. And it ended up coming up to that. Like, maybe I'll make a video, uh, you know, of my process of just... And like that one back there. I can't, all I did was just really vision what I wanted to draw. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I thought it was going to be like, you know, one of the realistic paintings, but I'm still happy with it because every time I get sad or, you know, down, I look at it and it just, you know, makes me happy. So, and this is how it came out. Like, hold on. This is exactly how it came out. Like, all I did was just think about what I wanted to draw. I looked at myself in the mirror and I just started to draw. Or paint. I am a living proof of just do it. Like Nike. Like, don't think about it. Don't think about what you're going to do. Just do it. Like, just sit down and see what you are really capable of doing. Like, cause there are that there is greatness within you. You just have to sit down and discover it. You have to have some alone time and find it. Because if not, if you are surrounded by people who one don't even believe in you, two they have it out to get you. They always talking about you. They using your own story against you. They encouraging you to go to this party. They encourage you to smoke this blunt. They encourage you to uh, go strip on this pole. <laughs> They encourage you to go on. They encouraging you to um, go on W Street and just shake it like a salt. Sh uh, salt <laughs> go shake it like a salt shaker. Like you're not gonna be able to discover who you are if you got people who don't even believe in you. Um, just advertising you like you some some great value version of you who they, they don't even know you for real. They just know. Mm -hmm. They they don't know you. But they see who you really are. They see the greatness in you. But they're not going to tell you about it. They're not going to encourage you to become that full potential of you. Because they know that they will get left behind. They know that you... <sighs> Once you see that greatness within you, some of them, they like to cling on and try to swing around because they... They don't want to do the work for themselves, but you took taking the initiative to do the work. You taking the initiative to sit down and write who you are. Like, y'all, I'm probably going to do a part two or something on discovering who you are. Like, just writing down, you know, your values, writing down the dislikes and likes, writing down, you know, the different sides that you deal with. We all have different personalities that we deal with. I mean, like, there is no, nothing to hide. We all know that we talk to ourselves behind closed doors or, you know, in public. Some of us, we are, you know, very loud about it. Like, I don't care if you look at me and I'm probably singing, you know, singing what I want to say. Ooh, every time I hear somebody say, like, certain words and I hear it in the song, I'm going to sing it out loud to the best of my abilities. Like, I may not know how to sing, but I'm going to still sing. And if you find that weird you're weird like bro like like you're normal you're too normal for me like bag bag let me be my weird self okay if you don't like it you can leave but 
because what they do they still stick around because they know they need my energy they need it because without it it's nothing some people are really leeches parasites they love to cling on to you just for your energy you can't let them hang on because if you continue to let them hang on and they're a bad fruit and you're a good fruit you know what happens when bad fruit touches good fruits like a basket full of strawberries one strawberry it gets like that little white puffy stuff like mold on it it touches that strawberry now it has mold on it now the whole thing got mold on it that's what happens and so when you actually take the initiative to just hop on out the strawberry basket and go on about your business you ain't gotta worry about them chasing after you and their moldiness because you refreshed and clean and going about your day going on about your life to find the next basket of fruit that is healthy i'm just saying something but i know that i'm getting somewhere because y'all listening can i get an amen amen <laughs> but nah y'all that's just what i wanted to talk about i hope y'all got something out of this video make sure that y'all like comment and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell and i will be probably making a video on how to discover you know getting to know yourself because i really had to take the time out today sit down and find out who i was like i even asked people or my aunt like you know what do you pick up when you're around me like describe me in three words like i was asking her questions so i could get to know how somebody views me from their point of view and then i was it taking the time out to like examine myself and think about you know how I act and how I really am like I'll show y'all in the next video but thank y'all for watching